Hello and welcome back to the Restaurant Show. Right now I'm very happy to be joined by my friends from Nono's Restaurante Italiano, Joaquin and Juan. Gentlemen, thanks for coming out. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having us here. And I'm very excited they had to teach me how to say this. We're having a risotto alla pescatore today, right? Yes. Risotto di pescatore. Di pescatore. So we're going to start that off and you said we had a very unique sort of kind of a different rice and an array of seafoods that go along with that. So a, a, a unique Italian menu item that you guys have over at Nono's. Yes, today we are going to cook an uh, Italian arbori rice with uh, seafood and veggies. Mm -hmm. We can describe that in, in the same way that uh, I'm cooking it. So I, I'm going to start chopping the uh, peppers and uh, onions, uh, cherry tomatoes, and uh, fry them before I put the uh, the seafood. And when you fry them, does that just kind of release more of the flavors, let everything come out a yeah, bit more? Yeah, I, I like the all the juices from the garlic, the veggies, uh, combined with the seafood. Okay. And the seafood, it cooks really quick, so we don't want to overcook the seafood. Definitely. So. Some oil in the pan. Some and oil, and then uh, I'm going to add all the... I'm gonna put the garlic first. Ooh, garlic. This is Can't one. Do that garlic. Yeah, this is one of our dishes that has become lately one of the most popular ones. Okay. And I can see why. There's a lot of different good things in there. You know, uh, with the fish, if you're gonna have your protein, fish has been very healthy, especially the stuff you guys are using. You got the veggies, so adds all the color and flavor and things like that to it as well. Now for the seafood, we are going to add calamari, shrimp. Uh, scallops and uh, black mussels. Oh, wow! That's so, that's yeah. good stuff too. It's a really good combination. You could you could get rid of the calamari and you could get rid of the shrimp. You could have all that as its own menu item if you wanted to yeah. do. Yeah. So all of that uh, in one dish here. And you got uh, that with the rice and all the greens. Well, the and rice, rice. Uh, cognac sauce give uh, an extra flavor to the cognac. sauce. So yeah, we put cognac. We're cooking with booze today on the restaurant show. We got cognac to go along with it. You know you can ask for the cognac on the side okay. <laughs> when you're at the restaurant. Got the big flame going with that too. That's uh, that's the, the alcohol kind of burning out of the cognac. Uh, yeah. And what that'll do is it just changes the flavor to it. Kind of and yeah, and it does off. actually change the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. um, we use on some dishes, we use vodka. For this one, we're using cognac. We use brandy, we use white wine, red wine for most of our dishes, so mm -hmm. just to get them to taste right. I was joking with you guys before we went on air, I said you're, you're just kind of looking for different boozes you guys can start cooking with over there at No No. But you explained to me that once the alcohol burns off, it gives everything kind of a different flavor, it mixes with the chemicals and the yes. food, so everything kind of comes out a little bit fresher and a different taste to it, so that's why we're doing that. So we, I like to uh, let it uh, cook for a little bit mm -hmm. with the sauce and the seafood, and then uh, I add the rice, or it's already pre-cooked, uh, with the butter and some uh, seasoning. Uh, so it just warm it up and uh, it's ready to go. Give it a nice serve and then we'll add that rice in there as you said you can see we're doing that now so you got pretty much the whole dish now in the pan mixed together yeah the the rice is cooked al dente mm -hmm. uh, so when i put the rice in the into the sauce doesn't get overcooked it gets the uh, the right uh, texture uh, battery and really al dente flavor sure you know bring anything out so aside from this, you're mentioning a lot of different things that are going on at the restaurant, not only different dishes, new dishes, innovative dishes, things like that, but what are some other things going on at uh, Nono's our viewers might want to know about? Uh, well, right now we have, uh, as you all know, Mother's Day is coming up uh, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we're planning on um, getting a special menu for Mother's Day, uh, something that's not on the regular menu, uh, seafood, steak, Something just to make it a little more special. So make it a special day, and you guys are taking reservations for that? We are soon? taking reservations, and then after this week, um, starting May 15, 16, uh, we're going to be having uh, 
uh, restaurant week and restaurant week. I'm sorry, uh, graduation weekend graduation for university. Weekend, yep. So that's another big event. So and those are all great, uh, great events to go out and have a nice dinner, a nice you know, be dinner. with your family, hang yep. out, and have some fantastic food. So for Mother's Day, if you don't do the brunch or don't do the breakfast, come on out for dinner. You can get your reservations in. They're going to have as. Juan mentioned a, a, a different menu, a, a fancier, a little bit better menu for Mother's Day, so take mom out, have a nice night. And then for those parents having a graduating student, also a great opportunity to be able to take them out uh, as a congratulatory dinner with them too. And even through, uh, we still have like daily specials on the restaurant. Uh, mm -hmm. We are currently having Monday and Tuesdays uh, a special with wine. It's half price bottles of wine. It's a selected menu. Uh, we choose some of our wines from our regular wine list. Uh, half price, can't go wrong with wine. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. So you can get your dinner cooked with wine and then you can get some wine on the side on the with side, that. On the side, yeah. And so, make sure someone in your group is going to drive you home. <laughs> well, the nice thing about Wisconsin though, you don't have to uh, finish the bottle. You could uh, maybe have two glasses and if you don't feel like finishing the bottle, you can cork it and take it home. Oh, okay. That's so, good to know too. Yeah. So you can go have your nice dinner, take it home and maybe have the rest yeah. The next day with your leftovers or something like that. So, and there's kind of our finished product. Okay, so I see you take the seafood out and then top it, so you got the nice presentation the, with it Yeah, as part well. of the okay. presentation. Very beautiful. And you can just smell the different kind of seafood combinations with the vegetables, how everything comes out. Look at that. Oh. No, we didn't mention the sauce on this one is a, a saffron cream sauce. Saffron cream sauce. So that's why it's a little yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, the flavor of it is really, really good. Looks absolutely gorgeous. So Nono's Italian restaurant, Joaquin and Juan doing a great job. It was the risotto de pescatore. De pescatore, yes. yes. At Nono's right. Restaurante Italiana. Thank you guys very much for coming out. Uh, thank, thank you, you for having us. us. We'll be back with more of the restaurant show right after this.